One Christmas break when I was a kid, I was probably like 14 years old. Somehow I got a Sensamia bud about this big and it had red hair and white hair and green and it was just beautiful. And it smelled so good. And I kept it in this wood box that I'd made in wood shop under my bed. And every day I would open it and just smell it. And I smoked it alone, like one hit at a time and just relished every moment of it. And when I would smoke it, I would get so present and it felt like such a special thing that was just mine. And it was magical. That experience of using weed and having that magic started to have consequences. I started putting that first in my life. And then I was addicted to it, amongst other things, for decades. And there was no magic to it. It was just coping. It was just coping with my fear and basically anxiety of life. I didn't like feeling uncomfortable and weed. Uh, I would get anxious and weed treated that. And then it didn't. Then it was part of the cause of the anxiety. Finally, after quitting, after decades of use, even now, I'm starting to realize that that, that magic of that first sense of Mia bud in that magic box, in that um, that experience it's all within it's all an inside job I went to hot yoga today just did a cold plunge Did some prayer and meditation. And I was just walking across the parking lot at the coffee shop. And I realized that I felt aligned. I felt what I wanted that sense of me a bud to do for me, but led to years of consequences. And it became clear that it's an inside job. It takes some different habits and some humility to to face what you've been avoiding with, with a weed addiction, because it's so supported these days that, oh, it's not the weed, it's the person. That's true, but once you're an addict, you're an addict. It's gonna lead to depression. It always does, always for everyone if they're addicted to it. And if they put on a good show, as if they're not, and they're in the public eye. Trust me, there's some moments where they're going, wow, I'm feeling burned. You know, and maybe not, who am I? I don't know everything. 
I just know clearly that if you're addicted, it leads to depression. And what we wanted with that, again, I can't speak for you. I know what I wanted is that feeling I had when I walked across the parking lot today, when I had healthy practices, when uh, I realized I was gonna come home and make a video. A feeling of life is a gift and there are healthy ways to get those uh, dopamine um, hits without taking drugs. And there's a connection with life itself that can bring you way more peace and joy and fulfillment and wholeness than weed ever could. A belief in life, a belief in God, a belief in the miracle of the universe. Life is beautiful. All right, that's what I got. Hope you found some value in it. Much love, peace. See you next time. Please subscribe. All right.